A photograph revealed that Adolf Hitler, the Jew's detester, had a friendship with a little Jewish girl. Adolf Hitler, the dictator president of Germany in the 20th century, was the big enemy for Jews. He killed millions of them during his ruling. However, some photograph of him with a little Jewish girl revealed that there is a remarkable friendship between them, which surprised people and they wondered about the reasons behind this relation. The first time Hitler met this girl was on his 44th birthday and her 7th birthday since they shared the same date of birth. The little girl was one of Hitler's fun, therefore she was among the people who were outside his house in order to celebrate the occasion. Bernal Nuno caught his attention, and from that date their exceptional friendship has been started. Adolf Hitler was proclaimed Fuhrer, in essence leader of Germany, in August 1933, after he had abolished labor union and capturing their leadership, then sending them to concentration camps in June. Also, he had eliminated other political parties. His nomination gave him more power and he became able to achieve his aims of persecuting the Jews and no one could stop him from eliminating their race in Germany. In the 1920s, Hitler was suggesting that killing Jews would be a good way to improve Germany and in 1925, the Fuhrer published his first volume of his autobiography, Mein Kampf, My Stigel. And then the second volume in 1926, he spoke about his thoughts about Jewish and he wrote them warnings. The book gained his best sales after his nomination in 1933 and became the most popular one in society. One of the passages where he wrote about Jews, the nationalization of our masses will succeed only when, aside from all the positive struggle for the soul of our people, their international poisoners are exterminated. And later on, he explained that he meant Jews by international poisoners. Then he added, if at the beginning of the war and during the war 12 or 15,000 of these Hebrew corruptors of the nation had been subjected to poison gas, then the sacrifice of millions at the front would not have been in vain. He wrote his viewpoint about Jews' rule in the First World War. His views were frightening. By 1933, Adolf started putting his thoughts into effect. He began by government workers he dispossessed, the Jewish professions, teachers and lawyers. Also children at schools were taught that Jews were inferior. Even worse, the Nazis announced two acts in the party's rallies in the city in 1935 called the Nuremberg Race Laws. The first was the law for the protection of German blood and German honor and the second act, the Reich Citizenship Law. The first act prohibited marriage and any type of relations between Germans and Jews to purify the Germans' blood from Jews, and the Nazis didn't take into consideration that these Jews are Germans too. The second act stipulated that Jews became a separate class, without any rights and only Germans who were given their full citizens' rights. In order to start applying the new rules, the Nazis had to identify who was German and who was not. So they designed a pyramid from the very high class to the very inferior one. The Deutschblutiger were at the top and they represented the 100% pure German blooded without no Jewish blood. Then they came to one eighth Jewish who have one Jewish great grandparents and they had their full German citizens right. After that, there were the Mischlings, those who had Jewish grandparents. This category was hotly debated. Some of the Nazis saw that those having even one Jewish grandparent must not be German citizens. Hitler ended the debate in November 1935, saying that if they had three Jewish grandparents, they wouldn't have their citizenship. If they had two Jewish grandparents, they may have their right provided that they do not marry a Jewish person. Those who had one Jewish grandparent would be German. At the bottom of the pyramid came the full Jewish blood people with no rights. However, all these rules had direct relevance for the little girl, Rosa Bernil Nuno, who had a half-Jewish mother. Bernil was born in April 1926, before a few months from her father's Bernard death, who was pure German-blooded doctor. 
However, her mother's Carolyn, half-Jewish blood, would not be neglected. In his 44th birthday, Hitler invited Rosa, as he preferred to call her, up to his house since it was her birthday too. Heinrich Hoffmann was the official photographer of the Fuhrer. By contrast to Adolf, who loved to show the brutal dictator's side or relaxing with his dogs and his photos, Hoffman used to take him pictures showing the side of his humanity, and that day he shot the pair together. Some doubted that the picture was took only to give good publicity for the leader. From that date, the pair continued their friendship, and they used to write for each other for the next five years. During this period, his persecution of the Jews in Germany continued to pace. The main question was, if Hitler knew that she had a Jewish origins, it seems that he was. Rosa used to call him uncle in her letters, which are kept in the German Federal Archives. Also, she wrote to his assistant, Wilhelm Bruckner. Dear Uncle Bruckner, today I have a lot to tell you. During the holidays, we were on the Ober Salzburg, and I was twice allowed to see dear Uncle Hitler. Uncle Hitler, I knit some socks again because I asked him if they fit him last year. He said yes. This year I can knit with finer wool. Mom only helps me with the heel. They are going to be very warm, and where he always travels so much, his feet will not be cold. Nino wrote on September 27, 1936. The letters showed that they met many times after that date. Hitler sent to her a picture of both of them with his signature he wrote on it. The dear and considerate Rosa Nenu, Adolf Hitler, Munich, the 16th June 1933. He was hugging her in the picture. For the viewer, it seems as a family and friends relative love. However, this friendship did not stop him from persecuting Jews, yet he led Germany to the greater heights of this brutal persecution of Jews. In December 1933, the Nazis ended the exemption that was for the Jews who kept their civil services jobs as doctors and teachers because they served in the German army during the First World War. Meanwhile, the private companies were prohibited from employ the Jews full-blooded Jews or even part Jewish. Jews who had their own businesses were forced to sell it cheaply, and it was accepted by Germans, apparently. It was called the Nuremberg Laws, and everyone do not respect it will be punished. By 1938, they were barred from ruling any businesses. Hitler's private secretary, Martin Bormann, did not like the relation of his master with a girl that was quarter Jewish, so he prevented Rosa and her mother from visiting the Fuhrer again without his permission or knowing. From May 1938, Carolyn and her daughter banished from Hitler's presence. Bormann also prevent the photographer from publishing the photos of the pair. Hoffman was angry from Bormann's order, so he admitted the truth to Hitler, who reacted angrily, and he said, There are people who have a true talent for spoiling my every joy. Hoffman wrote in his book, Hitler Was My Friend, that was published in 1955, when he released from the prison after he was prosecuted as a war profiteer for four years. If that was true, it means that Hitler had some human feelings to the Jewish girl. He saw the good child rather than her Jewish origins. However, he continued killing Jews and the victim's number run to six millions. Rosa was killed in early age when she was 17 years in 1943 by the scourge of poliomyelitis. She studied technical drawings after she was cut off from Hitler. The photograph of the historical extraordinary friendship came to light in November 2018 when a U.S. auction put it in after it was in the Alexander Historical Auction for the previous 80 years. The seller kept his identity secret and now the photo fetched $11,520.